Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm going to do uh, Inking of Batman. Why don't you stay tuned? Well, in honor of Inktober, I'm going to do a inking of this Batman drawing I did. Now, I openly admit, Batman is not an easy character for me. For some reason, I always struggle with it. I want to make my guy stylize, but this style never seems to fit well with Batman, but I'm going to give it a try today. And it is Inktober, so we're talking about going uh, pretty dark. I'm going to start this image really by filling in the background with nighttime sky with my Sharpie. Oh, and I will get that going. You know, what I did want to do is put down a piece behind so I don't get my desk with extra ink. So I'm going with the edge. Yes. You'll buy the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. Let me do that. Let me get the nighttime sky. I gave a talk recently at my job where I do training uh, about creativity. And how uh, working in a creative field, like I do, my day job, if you don't know, is video games. Um, and talking about the fact that creativity is actually a combination of three things. It is the, the intersection of expertise, you know, dexterity, uh, hand-eye coordination, the skill of drawing, right? in, in this case, for me anyways, in drawing. Um, video games, it would be your skill in engineering or your skill in you know, designing systems. Um, so it's an intersection of uh, expertise, motivation. You want to, you have to want to do it, and want to do it like in a way that makes you makes it hard for you not to do it, almost like an addiction level wanting of doing things. And then the third thing is creative uh, thinking skills. Creative thinking skills is that. Personality type that allows you to persevere when you've made mistakes or take some risks, try something new, you know, and be okay with failure, be okay with setback, um, be able to take feedback, those kinds of uh, creative thinking skills. Uh, when those three inter intersect, you've got creativity. So in that vein, I mean, motivation, that's not hard for me. It's hard for me to stop. Um, Expertise, I don't know, I've, I like my style enough. I feel like I'm um, above average slightly, but not, uh, I'm, a, I'm not setting the comic book market on fire. I'm not one of those superstars, remember. And then um, creative thinking skills, that risk taking, uh, that ability to try things. Oh, crap. Yeah, it cuts you off a little bit. That's all right. That's what I mean. This this is the, this video is going to be about me taking some risks. That's really what Inktober is supposed to be about, anyways, right? About trying new inking styles and taking some risks and and learning something new. So, in that vein, I'm going to be doing this Batman. Let me come back after I finish the nighttime sky. Let me go dark for a second. Go to fast mode. <laughs> All right. Whew. If you were in the room, you would smell the Sharpie scent overpowering. Um, all right, I'm going to take this for a second. Be right back. I'm going to throw this on the scanner. Brr. Hold on a second. All right. Woof. I'm back. Like I said, that is a lot of Sharpie smell in the, in the, in the air. Probably going to affect my cognitive skills. All right, since this paper is ruined, let me just show you real quick what I mean. So, um, over here we've got expertise, because you can't read my writing. Um, over here you've got creative thinking skills.
And then over here, it's motivation. Right. This right here is where creativity is. Let me give a little star. Oh, that's the thinking, right? You can be creative. You can have creative thinking skills, have the expertise, but you don't do anything because you're not motivated. Or you can be motivated and have these creative thinking skills and then lack the expertise. So you can have two of the three and they'll overlap, but it's really the mixture of those three that gets you to what they call creativity. I don't know. That's the thinking. I kind of like it. Um, so I'm spending more time in this area here, building those creative thinking skills. I probably ought to spend more time with expertise, motivation. Me, not really a concern. Over. Oh, there you go. All right, so again, Batman. I'm, they're still going to stay with my Sharpie for a little while. Now, I have made a few mistakes, but you know I'm okay with going with some mistakes. I went over there, went over there. Um, actually, maybe what I'll do is, so I'm going to, Keep with the black and the back of behind him here is his cape. And I'm gonna want the cape to be in shadow quite a bit too. So I expect this is gonna be a very dark picture. So let me just kinda just leave enough for a rim light. Uh, but then add the shadow of his arm. Right there behind the cape. Come and do the same thing over here. Now I was my daughter is taking up painting quite a bit. She's young. Very pretty young, but she's got a good handle on the paintbrush already. She uh, she made a mistake. She gone outside the lines or something like that. She started crying. Started crying. I made a mistake. It's not what I wanted. And she, I mean, like really, really crying. Uh, in the way only a toddler will do. I had to assure her that I've made. I said every one of my paintings hanging in my office has got a mistake someplace or another. But I'm really the only one who sees it because I'm the one who did it. Uh, everybody else just kind of sees a great painting. So I had to kind of reassure her that it's okay to make mistakes and hopefully kind of ingrained in her that doing art means making mistakes. Um, all right, coming into the points here, I guess I'll just leave like a little bit of a rim light on those as well. I kind of wanted to, I was talking and I didn't realize I went down this far. I was going to kind of fade out, but I'll try something new. Yet another mistake. You're the only ones will know about it because you're the ones watching the video. Uh, and I'm just going to keep on telling myself it's okay that I made those mistakes, came to the edge there too much. Uh, Woo! Strong smell. Maybe I shouldn't recommend you use a Sharpie this much on a piece of paper. Uh, you're going to expect to be a little lightheaded. Some happy little shadows over here, as Bob Ross says. Nothing but happy little inking. Come on. Right. Let me get this part of his cape right here between his legs. Ah, nah, crap. All right, all right, we're gonna be okay with it, all right? We said before we're just making mistakes or we're taking risks anyways and mistakes are going to happen that's part of the creative process we're going to be okay everything's going to be okay all right there we got my batman i lost the cape between his legs but that's right you get the footage now again i want to have him kind of in shadow i'm going to give him a nice dark forehead that's the thing of the dark night you can get him i'm talking about having him at night so I might try to make him really block-headed. Square that head off. And give him a bit of a uh, nose. <laughs> All right, let me give him the chin. Throw the rest of this in shadow too. I'm gonna get my thinner markers out here in a moment. Clean all that up. Let me give his bat logo. I'm gonna use my own version of the bat logo because I I like the big fat square ones. I'm old school. This as much as possible. And I'll use my other markers to come to the edge. I do want his gloves to kind of match the same darkness tone as the cape. So I might come in and. Off a 
feeling of pecs. Neck. Oh, wait, look, I left this area of the cable. I oh, should do that too. So if you're thinking about doing the Batman, <laughs> stock up on Sharpies. All right, let me do the inside. I'm going to keep his gloves to match his cape with the same tones. I'm going to use as much dark here as I did on the cape. Again, try to leave just enough rim light to have his, the edges kind of pop out. Taking risks, right? Taking risks. Oops. Yep, we lost the rim light in the back of the arm, back of the fingers there. Mm -hmm. Less and less happy with that glove, but can't not have this one match, so I'll take this one to the edge. Right. Nice relaxing drawing morning. That's what we wanted. Thank you, Inktober, for Helping me explore darkened drawings. Yes, this is very good. Very happy. I'm very happy with that. I should stop pointing out the things that have gone wrong to you because maybe you'd never notice. But I've made a lot of mistakes already. But it's Batman. Oh, his shorts too. His shorts have to some kind of darkness. Some tone. Let's get a here. So I'm just going to blend that in bit there. All right. What I don't understand is they would make Batman with a yellow belt. Well, not always. Some artists, some colorists will make that belt yellow. I prefer the ones who make it brown. That seems to me to make the most sense. Got some wrinkles in there. I'm going to show off the Batween. Even though he got a lot of press lately. Following that controversy. I am not. All right. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, I'm going to add some dark shadows under the arm to make the kind of round the figure out a little bit. We'll pretend that the light's coming from behind him, which would give his stomach some darkness too. Show up that rib cage. Yeah. Up oh, right into the bags. Very, very not what I wanted to do. Oh, we're going quickly, taking some risks. Yeah. Feel very Frank Miller. I wonder if Frank Miller does he must use a lot of sharpies. That, maybe that's what's going on, with Frank Miller. All the sharpie. Fumes. He's got to take a lot of breaks. I wonder if he uses brush or sharpies. I think that brush ink pen. I need a, to make a fatter brush ink pen. I should research that too. too. Alright. Get that shadow off that leg there. And he's starting to look very dark nighty. Very ninja esque. Yeah. Put a shadow. I'm gonna put a shadow of the cape all the way across there, so he even crosses the, so he even crosses the symbol a little bit. All right, so now we're, now we're really losing him in the shadow, which is probably what I wanted anyways, right? All right, he's Batman. He's gonna, you're gonna lose him in shadow. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Now he probably needs more darkness over here. What would happen if I don't even show the where the arm stops and the chest, the body starts? What does that look like if I do that? Totally experimenting. Yeah, that's not horrible. Not horrible. All right, let me give, beat this right to the edge a little bit more. I want to go ahead and just even use the legs in the nighttime. Entirely since I already lost that part of the cape. That means if I lose this leg entirely. 
Yeah. Let that dry a little bit. You ain't gonna be able to see them. Yeah. Although the, the leg was supposed to stay. You don't see where the leg and the shorts even pop out. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's okay. No, all right. Yeah. Sure, why not? I'm getting a little marker crazy. Maybe the fumes. Maybe just the risk taking that I'm comfortable with. Maybe I'm just angry all of a sudden because I don't like the way this is turning out. But it's okay. You know, a little bit of setback. You're supposed to take risks. You're supposed to be okay with taking risks. That's what creativity is all about. That's why it's relaxing. That's why we enjoy it. Yeah. No, right? Right? We're enjoying this. I'm having fun. You having fun? Having fun watching me screw up? You laughing at me? I can hear you. Sure. No, go ahead and laugh. It's like, not like you've ever drawn Batman before. You think you are. Freaking Jim Lee over there watching my video? Alright, I'm sorry. I don't mean to lash out. But I'm just a lot, not as happy with this as I kind of hoped I would be. But you know what? He's Batman. It's nighttime, right? Batman's only out at night. He never wears his costume out during the day. Christian Bale showed us that, right? Christian Bale. I swear to God, that Cheney movie is going to better suck ass. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great acting and a shitty character. Oh, I think I've got the body darker than I wanted. I wanted the cape to be the darker part. Oh, let's see if I, if you don't even notice that, right? Yeah, sure. Don't notice that. Don't notice any of this. Let's get him. Let's really lose him in the, yeah, let's really lose him in the darkness. Kind of just set him right into the nighttime sky. We'll just leave the smallest hint of somebody standing there watching you, mocking you, laughing at you. Right? Right? Why don't we? We'll get this a little darker there too. No. This is gonna, gonna, all right, whole stomach's gone. It's going to be a utility belt floating in space. That's what we like, because that's what nighttime's about, right? That's what Batman's about. That's why I don't like Batman. There's not enough of him there. You can't even see the guy. I don't want to make... Yeah, no, like that. Like how that's turning out. Fine. Uh, we just, we're going to be, it's going to be eyes, mouth, and belt. Uh, give, him a, give him a lip. Just kind of floating off in the night sky, just looking at you like Cheshire Cat staring at you, making you nice and paranoid. Yeah, that's what they call me anyways. Sure, sure, all right, let's lose it. Let's do it. Let's totally do it. No, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to totally put him right in darkness. Maybe a little bit of a bat signal, a little bit of that. I don't even know why we're keeping that little bit of cape. No, take the cape off. The cape is too dark. The cape, the cape's going to be lost in the midnight, murky night sky. You don't even see the... Don't even see it, right? Yep. Let's not even get from there. Let's see the cape and cow. All we're going to have is a little bit of experimenting because this is what we do when we're creative. We're taking risks. Yes. You like this? You like it? You happy? Everyone watching? Want to join my YouTube channel? I'm sure you are. Yes. There's Batman. There's your Batman. He's a ninja. You can see Batman. He's a ninja. He's hiding. Hiding in a nighttime sky. There, Robin. Holy, holy murky nights, Robin. Now you're not even seeing me. I'm going to have a utility belt. Yeah, no, no. No utility belt. No, no. Just going to be a couple of eyes. There's your Batman. There's your Batman. A couple of eyes. Staring at you in the mouth. He's got a little bit of a smile on him. Ha, ha, ha. Joker got to him. That's what's going on. All right. Hey, everybody. There's your Batman. There's your nighttime. There's your, there's your dark night. Yeah, hope you like him. Hope you like him. There's your Batman. Night, everybody. Perfect. Perfect. That was wonderful. Be sure to like and subs be sure to like, subscribe. You know, send this video around to all your friends. So you can all get a good look at the Batman in the night sky. You're not gonna see Batman anyways because he's a ninja. Yeah, no, this is how it's supposed to be. Yes, like and subscribe, everyone.